Welcome to Tom Bob Outdoors. On this week's episode of Friends in Wild Places, we join up with Pine Creek Canine Search and Rescue to get an inside look at what it really takes to train search dogs with the International Bloodhound Training Institute. Stay tuned, you're watching Friends in Wild Places. Tom Bob Outdoors guys today. We're here with Heather from Pine Creek Search and Rescue. Heather, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Heather Dimmick. I'm from Dubois, Pennsylvania, and I'm part of the Pine Creek Canine Search Unit, which is based out of Brookville, Jefferson County, Pennsylvania, with the Pine Creek Fire Department. How did you get involved in this? Um, well, one, we love dogs. Um, my husband has been with um, the Clear uh, Lawrence Township Fire Department for a little over 30 years now. He started as a junior member, so he's always been involved in the first responding and then sort of just mixed the two together and started doing this. Well, good. It sounds like you have a good passion for this. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect this weekend. It's a busy weekend this weekend. I'm sure. And I know you've been talking about it for yes. a while. There's a lot of footwork to be done and a lot of organizing to be done, but what this weekend is really all about is about making sure that our dogs are still working, that they're still able to go out in the field and assist first responders in any search and rescue or police work that they might need assistance with. So that covers a pretty broad area. <laughs> And I know this area is, it's a pretty large area. We have a lot of wilderness, you know, a lot of woods, a lot of rough terrain. Now, does this stuff happen a lot that you need to be called out? Um, not, not, it, it does more than you would think it is. Um, there's some busy weekends. The first week of hunting season is always busy. Um, Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, Christmas holidays, those seem to be the times that we get called out the most. Now, are you a handler with the dogs? Or? Yes, I am. I do okay. have a dog that I handle. Now tell us a little bit about the puppy. Her name is Karma. She is a bloodhound, red bone, coon hound mix. She's actually a rescue dog that we got out of uh, Amher Hounds in West Virginia. So we sort of turned the tables on the rescue a little bit and we rescued the so. dog yeah. and now she's out to rescue everybody else. So, I mean, I, I've been around dogs you know, off and on throughout my whole life. So what's different from like my pets at home with a search dog? She's still our pet. Mm -hmm. So she's still loved and cherished just like your normal pet would be. She does a lot of things that maybe your dog does, but you don't notice that Karma's trained to give us signals to do. Now, did you do all this training yourself or how, how did that work? We do the training ourselves within, and then we also have help from outside with um, people from uh, the International Bloodhound Training Institute that they come in and they train us and help us, coach us along, test us yearly to make sure that our dogs are still working. Well, thank you very much, Heather. Now let's meet Heidi and Ed from the International Bloodhound Training Institute and learn a little bit about what inspired them to become involved with search and rescue training. Well guys, thank you very much for coming down here today and, and being on Friends in Wild Places. So you guys are trainers or certification experts? What, what's your title? Well, we're instructors for International Bloodhound Training Institute mm -hmm. and uh, we're also dog handlers. We, we're also part of uh, a search and rescue group in Long, on Long Island in New York. 
And also evaluate as Also, well. yeah. I am BTI. So I am DTI. I am BTI. International yeah. Bloodhound Training Institute. If you say that 10 times fast, I'll pass it up five times. So, so you guys are trainers, handlers. How did you guys even get into this? We bought a bloodhound. <laughs> and just, he, it just jumped and, right in. And we bought a well. We bought a we bought a bloodhound. We always wanted. I always wanted a bloodhound since I was a mm-hmm. kid. And we finally got a house, and we said, "All right, let's get a bloodhound." And then we realized after a little while that he needed a job. You know, so that's all good dogs do. Yeah. So we got into search and rescue. Well, thanks, guys, very much. When we come back. We're going to get out and meet some of these precious pups and take a peek into the world of search and rescue. Stay tuned. You're watching Friends in Wild Places. Welcome to Bob's Army and Navy of Clearfield, Pennsylvania. We are the area's largest retailer of hunting and sporting goods, including guns in all areas, hunting equipment and supplies, boots for all situations, archery supplies, reloading equipment supplies, and army surplus. Be sure to stop in and talk to the area's most knowledgeable and friendly staff at Bob's Army and Navy. The Keystone Elk Country Alliance, combining an entertaining and educational experience with family fun. The leader in conservation education, improving habitat projects for elk and other wildlife in Pennsylvania's elk country. In the heart of the Pennsylvania wilds, the Keystone Elk Country Alliance, located at the Elk Country Visitor Center. To learn more, visit experienceelkcountry.com. Welcome back to Tom Bob Outdoors Friends in Wild Places. Training with the International Bloodhound Training Institute starts with a short night of classes before the dog handlers get out into the field and see some action. Well, good morning, guys. So after last night's little seminar, we're here in the parking lot of Bonton in Dubois, Pennsylvania, getting all the dogs out, getting ready to go. They're already doing some trails here and running around. It's a little humid, it's a little chilly, but hey, it's a good morning in Pennsylvania, right? So let's cut to the action here. We're gonna talk to some of the dog handlers and see what really goes into all of this. So stay tuned, you're watching Friends in Wild Places. Right now what we're doing is intensities and what intensities do for the dog is it works them up just before they start their real search. So even in a live search or even when you're practicing, sort of like baseball when you go out and warm up before you go start playing the game. This is what we're doing. We're warming the dogs up. We're getting them excited. We're saying, hey, we're going to play this game now. So when it comes to the real game, they're ready. This is Karma. This is my dog. She is a bloodhound, red bone coon hound mix. She's two and a half years old. And this year she is up for her recertification. So she is certified through the International Bloodhound Training Institute, but she has to be recertified every year just to make sure that she's still working. So what we're doing now for this intensity is we have our hider over here, Carly, and she is going to get our dog all excited and show her her scent article, show her the treats, and then Carly's going to run off. We're going to turn the dog 
not facing Carly, so her tail is going to be to the trail, is what we call it, for practice reasons, because we want the dog to work out the trail and figure out which way the person went, so we want the dog to turn. That's part of training, so that you know that the dog is on the trail. They're just going to be little short runs, um, just to get her excited, so quick trail, quick reward, quick trail, quick reward through the whole thing. So we're going to strap Karma up first. She's a little cursited this morning. Lots of stuff going on, huh? I'm excited at all though, but she's sewing. She's she's crying, so she's excited. She's such a straight face. Karma gets jealous when all her doggy friends get to go and she's it's not her turn yet. Okay, so I have my lead ready. You should always have your lead ready before you start. She's harnessed up for her intensity. She's shaking because she knows that it's time to play. Like, I have my knees locked into her to hold her in place so she doesn't get too, too out of control or go the wrong way. And so I can feel her shaking, and I know that she's, like, really excited even though she's not really doing anything. And Carly's going to come over, and she's going to show Karma her treats. Are you ready, Karma? She's gonna pet her up and get her excited. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Show her her scent article. Ready? And she's gonna put, throw her scent article down. She's gonna run and we're turning. We're not gonna let the dog cheat or see where she's going. And I have to put a little bit more pressure on her to keep her from turning so she doesn't turn. And then she's good now. So all I'm going to do is give the command, which I'm going to say F-I-N-D, but we always spell it so they don't hear it when we're explaining something. So that's what I'm going to say. And then she should just go on the trail. Fine. She's going to think nose to the ground, tail up, and we're going. We just have a little party, tell her how good she is. Ready? And Carly's gonna ready, go ready, again. Ready. Go. Where's she going? Now this time we're not gonna say F-I-N-D. We're gonna use three-word command to tell them to do the same thing over, but I can't say it, you'll have to listen. <laughs> so all right, Karma, back to work. Something's right there. Come on. Work. Nose is down, tail is up, that's a good sign. You notice her head's up. She's not on. She's figuring it out. She's gonna come back. She's figuring it out. She knows she's here. Honing in. Head come up again, working it out. Head down, check in. And there she is. <laughs> Good girl! Good girl! Yay! You're such a good girl! Good girl! Good job. So now when we're done... Do you want to give her another one again? Nope. Okay. We take the leash off and her harness off. See, good job, Karma. Once their harness is off, they know, okay, I can just be a dog now. I don't have to do anything special. Where you at, buddy? We let him sniff around. Karma just likes to sniff. Moses, one of the other dogs on the team, he likes to play ball. Some dogs like toys, but Karma just wants to sniff when she's done after she gets her treats. But if you see it on that last intensity, she was sort of working out the scent where the dog went. So when her head's up, they're sort of working it out. When their head's down, that's they're on trail. Every dog's different. You just have to know your dog. Some dogs might not do that. Um, some dogs work a little different. And you'll see with each of our dogs on our team how they work and their signs that they give their owners. Wow, I can see why you call them intensities. When we come back, we're gonna meet up with AJ and Carly, two other dog handlers with Pine Creek Search and Rescue. Stay tuned, you're watching Friends in Wild Places. From medical industry projects to the home project, powder metal affects literally every area of your life.
It also affects the adrenaline project. We supply the component part. You bring it to life. Continuous metal technology. Looking for a great getaway spot to disconnect from this? Filled with adventure and thrills everywhere you look. Not to mention some of the most breathtaking scenery in our nation. Come relax and unwind with us at the Lakeview Store Cabins and RV Camping. Located across from the Cinnamahoning State Park, smack dab in the heart of the Pennsylvania wilds. Where you can stargaze here, kayak down there, visit the pristine state parks over there, jump on a horse and wagon ride in elk country, wet a line right here, and see all kinds of wildlife in between. Or just kick back and read a book fireside. It's all right here. Handy to Lakeview Store, cabin rentals, and RV camping. And don't forget to pick up your Tom Bob Outdoors and Kika Partners and Conservation logo wear while you're in our area. Give us a call at 814-647-8657 and be sure to like us on Facebook. When it's time to perform, don't waste your opportunity. We are the science of performance. You won't truly understand ammo. until you start making your own. Ballistic Products, the science of performance. Welcome back to Friends in Wild Places. We're out with Pine Creek Canine Search and Rescue, and we're gonna meet up with members AJ and Carly and learn a little bit about their involvement with this awesome organization. All right, guys, well, we're here with Carly and AJ. <laughs> you guys are both handlers, right? Correct. Right. So how'd you get your start doing this? Carly, why don't you go first? Uh, I actually saw them in the 4th of July parade at Brockway, and mm -hmm. I told my mom that's what I wanted to do and she fought me for about a year and then she finally caved and let me get a dog and that's how it all got started. AJ? Um, I actually saw the team at the flea market before. I spoke with the, the president and his wife and you know they, they had me come to a couple practices see what it was about. Then I got my puppy and that's where it all started. And what kind of dogs do you guys have? I have a mix. Uh, he's an Australian Shepherd and Blue Tick Coonhound mix. Oh, I bet that's a beautiful dog. He's he's gorgeous. Are you saw? I, I have uh, full-blooded Australian Shepherds. Nice. A three-year-old and a year and a half old. Throughout the year, what do you guys do other than this one event? And of course, you know when you get called out, do you have to do any other training throughout the year, or? Um, we do at least one practice a week. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. how does that work? Um, well, we all come together mm -hmm. at a spot that we pick and it's pretty much just like we did, we're doing this weekend we'll practice our components and now components. train the dogs what's what, what, are, what are components um well, let her explain more she's the trainer on the team okay components are just the different things that you'd like your dog to do uh, we have like door IDs moving targets um, things that you can run upon in an actual search mm -hmm. that you are preparing the dog for now with, with the searches, and I'm assuming you guys, since this is a global certification, you guys train for urban environments as well as like suburban environments as well as rural environments, kind of like we're in this general area because we got a little bit mix of everything around mm -hmm. here. Correct. We uh, pick our practice locations week to week based on the environment. Nice. Now, are you both involved with the fire hall here? I am a social member. Social member? Act, and active firefighter. Thank you guys so much for your awesome service. Now let's check back in with our dog handlers and see how they're doing. So I'm here with Lakin and her owner, Zeus. I mean, <laughs> Zeus and his owner, Lakin. So tell me a little bit about this cute guy. All right, he is a Beagle Blue Healer mix. Um, I've had him for about a year. He is a year and four months-ish. Um, he's new to the team, so we are, this is his first time 
attempting to certify. How did you get involved with the search and rescue? Um, I actually knew AJ, mm -hmm. so and I knew that he did it and everything, and everybody just kept saying how, you know, like the beagle part of him would be good for that, that just that type of dog. Um, and I was like, that would be really interesting, you know, because I've never really done anything with a dog like that, so I really wanted, I wanted to get involved with doing something with him, so. So, you're expecting, right? Yes. So what's that like running around here today? That's got to be tough. It is, a little bit. Um, only about a month left, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a little stressful. Um, just this, in general, stressful, so I'm, I'm trying. I'm sure. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Yep. Well, that sh shows your dedication, I mean, honestly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that's awesome. And you seem to be having fun. Oh, yeah. Because we're all really just enjoying today. Yes. Which is oh, nice yeah. to see, because I know it's a day of work for you. It is. It is. Yeah. A lot of work. Yep. Well, thank you very much. Yep. I really appreciate it. And again, he's a good boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Stay <laughs> tuned. You're, You're watching awesome. Friends in Wild Places. places. Welcome to Bob's Army and Navy of Clearfield, Pennsylvania. We are the area's largest retailer of hunting and sporting goods, including guns in all areas, hunting equipment and supplies, boots for all situations, archery supplies, reloading equipment and supplies, and army surplus. Be sure to stop in and talk to the area's most knowledgeable and friendly staff at Bob's Army and Navy. The Keystone Elk Country Alliance, combining an entertaining and educational experience with family fun. The leader in conservation education, improving habitat projects for elk and other wildlife in Pennsylvania's elk country. In the heart of the Pennsylvania wilds, the Keystone Elk Country Alliance, located at the Elk Country Visitor Center. To learn more, visit experienceelkcountry.com. So, training, there's a lot of elements involved, right? Correct. We're here at the Dubois City Park now instead of the shopping center that we were at earlier. And here it's kind of a very suburban feel. Mm -hmm. So, because you guys are not just training for our rural area, you're training for anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Okay, now how does this work? Because I know, you know, from living right up the street here, this park always has people in it. Mm -hmm. So is that difficult for the dogs with all the scents going no. on? Or You're, If you have any type of working dog, mm -hmm. search dog, they should be able to work through the busyness of what they run into on the street. Whether it be kids running up and down the sidewalk, whether it be a cat jumping out from the bushes, a stray cat or something like that. You got to prepare your dog for all those things. So, so it kind of sounds like no matter what, you guys are training and preparing your dogs and yourselves for any situation you could possibly run into. That is correct. Which, it's, it's awesome, because I know today I've been learning an awful lot. <laughs> um, it's crazy how much work you guys really right. put into this. Throughout the rest of the weekend, Pine Creek set up in different locations to simulate different search scenarios. This ensures that the dogs are ready anytime an emergency would occur or their services are needed. Okay, okay. Well, Heather, thank you very much for this awesome weekend. I really appreciate it. She's given this inside look on how to train search dogs and a little bit about the certification classes and what this all looks like. It's a huge benefit to our community. 
and the globe, really. And uh, I've had a blast. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. A lot of running. <laughs> yeah, I, got I, to work out. as you guys can see, I, I'm sweating. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I've been running around, got to hide a little bit and interact with the dogs. It's been a great weekend. So thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. So again, where can people go if they want to get involved with a local search team in their area? Where do they go? Well, you can contact your local search team and us, we just, you can email us at Pine Creek Canine Search Unit at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook just by searching Pine Creek Canine Search Unit. Um, contact your local fire department to see if they have search units that they have. Um, and just get in contact with first responders and, and volunteer your time. Well, that's, that sounds great. So I'd encourage you guys to go out. If you have an interest in this, if you love dogs, if you want to help your community out, go call your local fire department. If you're in our area, feel free to call Pine Creek Search and Rescue, the Pine Creek Fire Hall. They'll be able to point you in the right direction. And again, we've had a great time. Uh, thank you so much. You I really welcome. appreciate it. Have a great week and Thanks. we'll see you next time. You're watching Friends in Wild Places. Welcome to this week's Pennsylvania Great Outdoors. The PA Great Outdoors region is a big, beautiful part of Pennsylvania and home to Jefferson County. Punxsutawney Phil is the county's most famous resident, and February 2nd, Gobbler's Knob is the place to be. Punxsutawney offers year-round fun with Phil's Borough, the Groundhog Club headquarters, and the Weather Discovery Center. Brookville has a restored Victorian Main Street and the trailhead for the Red Bank Valley Trail. The Jefferson County History Center has many interesting exhibits, including a Twyford car and a model railroad. Nearby, Scripture Rocks Park features over 70 engraved large boulders. Clear Creek State Park is a rare gem in a deep valley on the banks of the Clarion River. Brockway has a trailhead for the Clarion Little Toby Trail, and two launches give paddlers easy access to Little Toby Creek. The town also hosts an annual old-fashioned 4th of July celebration. To plan your trip to the Pennsylvania Great Outdoors, go to visit pago.com or like PA Great Outdoors on Facebook. medical industry projects to the home project. Powder metal affects literally every area of your life. It also affects the adrenaline projects. We supply the component part. You bring it to life. Continuous metal technology. People with continuous metal technology. Yo, working with the folks at Ballistic Products. They do all kinds of checks to make sure ITX is the best product. And then they rely on us to do the final check. Images like these can make us feel powerless, but know there are people making a difference. Your gift of money and prayers are what they need to make a big impact on the lives of others. We provide to existing missions already established to feed, clothe, teach, and love the poorest of the poor and marginalized. Give to Cross Catholic now by calling or visiting us on the web. God bless. Visit shop.tomboboutdoors.com for the best deals on all of your favorite Tom Bob Outdoors products. Check out everything from the Tom Bob Lure with Scent Fusion technology to CTX and ITX projectiles, Tom Bob and CMT logo wear, and even the Tom Bob earrings. All this at one convenient location, shop.tombobouttdoors.com. And don't forget to watch Friends in Wild Places adventure series on your favorite cable network.